Hello all, welcome back. I just got on here and I see that my foals were all born. And 12 foals, so we are gonna look at them. I've missed all of their birth heights, but they did an update recently that um, let you see what their birth height was. Oh, he's got blue eyes, that's nice. And let's see his information here. 1016. And 6'6 six, six personality. He's a little bit low, I'm kind of in the center here on the on the lazy energy, but I, I'm not gonna complain. It's still above 50%, so we're we're doing good. That is a good start. And that's a cold. Let's see how tall. This is how you can find out how tall they were when they were born. Down here under the the Info that you can click on, you know, where you can mount, place, edit, whatever, the title and everything. And you have your breed info history. Up here, they have added what they call zero year old. And that is what you would click on. And it will tell you exactly what your foal was born at. at and this one was born at 10.2 hands and 109 centimeters. Let's place them and have a good look at them. He's cute. He's already 11 hands. Let's, let's see what it says on how tall him he might be as an adult. Now you have the four year old one, but that one you, doesn't really do much. And I'll show you why until after they're four. So we're gonna go to his profile real quick. And here it's gonna show you have the zero year, which is what we just looked at. And the four-year-old one, what, if I click on it, it's going to tell me not over four yet. So I can't, you can't really find out what, what that information is going to be until after they're four. But what it's going to tell you is all of this information right here that they had, their stats and everything right before, right as they were born. And his daddy is, let's see, message me. Oh, one of my favorites, actually. Even though he's only a four-six, this guy is one of my favorite um, stallions. He's my riding horse. I love riding him. Even though he's got four six and he's stubborn and lazy, for some reason, he's never given me any issues with, of course, I haven't really tried to cross him through water because, you know, as, as I've said before, I'm not on here very often. But I'm kind of excited about this fool. So that is, that's cool. That is, um, that's a good start. And guess what? I'm not selling him. <laughs> he's six six and, well, let's find out. Point two at 109. I'm going to guess he's going to be 17.1 hands. I have, I have this feeling. I'm going to go back to my horses here, and we're going to go on to the rest of them. <laughs> so we have a sprinter-type filly, thoroughbred. <laughs> and this one is a 6'6". Six, six. She's 54% follower. Which the one I'm looking at is her um, information right here, the 1310. Let's see what she is compared to her parents. Now, here's her mother, blazing girl. And I believe she's at 1310 too. So she's a, her foal is the exact same um, base stat as she is. I, this is the same stallion that I bred the last time and got that nice tall foal from. Maybe she's giving me white foals because he's a cremello. But um, see, he's at 13, 18 is what he has when he was, uh, yeah, when he was born. Let's see what he was at a, as a four-year-old. This is his information. That's what we just talked about a minute ago that shows what his speed and everything was at the age of four. They tend to um, lose, lose that information as they age. This guy's 20 years old now. But it'll say here that, you know, at four years, that with only genetics accounted, all experience, et cetera, discounted. These charts are good for comparing the basic genetic compatibility between horses. Natural genetic mane and tail shown as well because they have that where you can change the style of their hair like I did the, the uh, mother. That is that. So, you know, she's the foal that she's got. It's a good thing. It's She's um, the exact same as her mother. She's got a lot more speed than her mother did, I believe. Let's see. Her information here. We're going to look at the her genetic stats here. Because I would really like to someday get into competition. I still like to I still like to try the courses and stuff, so that's kind of why I started with the thoroughbreds. And she's probably going to be pretty tall, hopefully like her sister. Um, let me show you her sister a minute. Who, and see, she's at 1286 when she was born, but see how she's maxed out at, or she's maxed height at 17.3 hands. She's got a little bit better um, 
genetic stats than her sister, but her, it looks like her sister has a hair, but um, better personality. This is her full sister. I thought for sure I might get a Palomino on them, but they apparently want to give me white fools, which is fine. So that is um, the filly that was born. And let's see what she was at when she was born. 10.1 hands at 107 centimeters. She's probably going to be around be about 17 hands possibly as an adult. Um, so she's going to be a little bit smaller than her sister, but we'll see how that turns out. Next foal is Sun Chaser's foal. Now, Sun Chaser tends to give me a lot of brindle, which is, I, which is what I like. Um, this one has obviously blue eyes, and I love the little blaze on her. And she's got some nice markings. I believe she looks just like her sister, actually, that I had. Her mother is Chev's Sun Chaser that I thought was the neatest coloring of the Brindle Grula Pearl. Every, I think I've only bred her a few times, and she has given me a Brindle full each and every time, which is awesome. Um, and if you want to see the sire, Utah NM Texas, this is the sire of Ari Philly. So far, they're pretty good. They're not terrible. Wow. That is interesting. I got a white Iberian warm blood filly out of um, an Andalusian and a grade. Which this is her mother. She's another one of my favorites. I like, I like her color. I, I changed her mane to look white. That's why I kind of like her so much because of the way I decorated her, so to speak. But her dad is actually a grade horse. It looks like a Frisian or an Andalusian, rather. He's 15.3 hands, whereas um, Cuervo doll is 16 hands. So my guess, without even looking at her zero-year-old, um, that means that she was born at like 9.3, which is very... This here is the most common I have in my Andalusians. They're usually, like, like I said, 9.2, 9.3 hands. Um, and they're usually about 100 centimeters. So, yeah, they're, she's going to be about 15.3 when she becomes an adult. It's kind of disappointing, but it's, it's expected. It happens all the time with my horses. Um, let's see who's next. Fred's Muse. It's an ebony filly and a liar. Decent personality. She has the Voro gene. Yeah, Desert Fall is her daddy. One of my favorite Andalusian stallions. Lineback, Voronea. The Voro gene, as I call it. But I'm probably not going to keep her. Not a fan of Ebony. I like it on some horses. And occasionally I keep them. I do like her markings. I think... I, I don't know. I'll have to decide on that one. If I want to keep her or not. Next is Salsa's Hole. This is another filly. She's got a cute little snip on her nose. Which, and her eyes are kind of an amber-orange color, which means that she has the blue eye gene. I don't believe blue eyes, but I find that if you breathe with blue eyes, occasionally you'll get them. Or 6'6 six, six personality, which is decent. She's 53% energetic. Um, her speed's kind of low. Agility isn't bad. Um, and strength isn't bad. She could probably pull my cart pretty easily. Let's see how old she was when she was born. 11.1. .1. I'm going to guess she's probably going to hit about 18 hands, give or take. Uh, let's see who's next. Black Rabicano Roan. 1227, not bad. Personality, she's 6'6". Six, six. I'm probably not going to keep her. Let's see. Cleopatra, one of my favorite mares, and she gives me an ebony. <laughs> Such a silly mare. 6'6 six, six again. Low in the social range, but not terrible. She won't like bulk when you go into a busy club. So that's not terrible, but I probably won't keep her either. That's Cardinal's full grade. I think this is the second time she's given me this color, gold champagne. It's a Colt. And um, that's Cardinal is a uh, Warlander. He's got some decent eyes and he's got the... Um, oil spotting on his booty there, but let's see what his personality's like. He's got good agility, but other than that, 
Um, six six was a, just a, just a hair above being antisocial. Um, but again, I probably won't keep him because for one, he turned out to be a grade instead of a warlander. Because I believe his daddy's a grade. Yeah, PT boss is a grade that I had on a, a previous video. Um, he's a he's a grade broke horse, but I got him down as a warlander. He's mom. She's a chessy. So that kind of might explain why she has, she gives me a lot of champagnes, especially when bred to boss. Excuse me. So he's probably gonna go. Let's see who's next. Peg's Dark Lady, a sooty black colt. And he's a no, he's ornery. Definitely not keeping him. Let's see, I'll probably just trade her. Okay, so I got a cute little fool out of Color Me Pretty. You know? But I bought her because I liked her coloring. She was kind of unusual looking. She's only 15.3 hands. She's an Iberian warm blood. I saw her at auction and she was an impulse buy. That's why I call it imp buy um, because I have, of her coloring. And I actually had a small bidding war for her. I think I paid around 12,000 gold dust. Let's let's get a closer look. Free fall is, it's daddy. Free fall is a classic pearl, Andy, that I have. So this full, they're both 15.3. So most likely the full is going to be 15.2. Just kind of throwing that out there, which is unfortunate. It's a sable champagne done. I'll probably list him at auction. He's got the metallic coat that I'd hoped he would get from his mother. 953 genetics. Of, I don't think he'll sell very well at auction, but I might list him anyway just to see. Maybe somebody wants him for his color like I wanted his mother. He's got a decent personality, so that might interest people, but it's hard to say what people are looking for. And I believe next is Ifandas Raises Full. Another Sudi Ebony. Very, very, very common. Decent personality, but tiny, itty bitty. Tiny itty bitty white star there. It'll be buried by his forelock when he's grown. Let's first look at his parents. Dark Peg's Flight, he's a Frisian. One of my favorites, he's got decent stats, but he's only 16.3, as you can see here, I put this game is so cruel, almost perfect everything, only mature at 16.3, why? Because the game is mean to me. Get a closer look at his mama. Fandus Reza, she's a Frisian also. Grade broke on here, but I actually certified her as an FHA, which is my certification, so that she could be considered a Frisian. I certified her as such. I liked her because of her metallic coat, and it apparently it has not helped with this cold. Um, I'll breathe a pair again, and I'll bet I'll get a Voro next time, but I'm not going to hold my breath, and they'll probably be a Philly. This will be a test for all you guys out there. That we'll see. I'll breathe that pair again here soon, and. We'll see if the next foal is a Voro and if it's a Philly, see if I'm right. Just, just fun, just cause. We're gonna look at this one more time at this cute foal that I'm not selling. With his blue eyes. I gotta think of a really good name. In fact, how about you all help me with that? You give me a name that you think he should be named and we will, I will go through them and choose one of those names. Let me know what you think. Post a comment in the comments. If you like this video, hit subscribe and hit that like button so you can get some more notifications when I add more. I look forward to hearing from you again real soon. Thanks for watching.